everyone, welcome to a massive news breakdown here on DC Spin Master. Alright, as always, I'm your host of Frozen Stratos, and I'm just gonna cut right to the chase because we got information for basically everything that's coming out for the Batman Spin Master line in 2021. Just out here, plainly in text. We don't have too many new images here, but uh, this is this is just their whole 2021 slate, just out there for everybody to see. Um, this isn't this wasn't leaked or anything. Uh, this information comes to us from Scott Beatty, who says that he got this information from Spin Master. Um, he seems to be established in the community, so I am willing to to trust it uh, trust this information. But there are a few points here uh, that are going to get a little confusing, and some may break the logic of this this document itself. So uh, we're just gonna go through, we'll take a look and see what we can find out of this. Okay, cool. Uh, so first up, let's take a look at that top row, Batman 4 inch. Uh, so basically this first one, Wave 5 that came out in January 1st, uh, this is what we've seen already. This is, this. these were our first glimmers of the Bat Tech line, but what this helps us do is establish a little bit of nomenclature. Uh, Batman S1 V1, Grey Rebirth, that refers to the Sculpt 1 Variant 1. So that's basically letting us know what everything here sort of means. S4 V1, that's just supposed to mean the, the new Bat Tech Batman. S3 V1, that's the new Robin. So basically, it equates to everything here. And now do keep in mind that the rares and super rares do count as extra variants, so you know, put that into consideration. Also, Batwoman is not a new sculpt. If you do not have her in hand yet, she is not a new sculpt like Robin is. She is just uh, a repaint of the exact same figure. Uh, another thing to note is that they uh, they refer to Joker as S2 Light Sculpt 2, which is potentially just a light remold. Uh, I assume that's what that, that means, just because, you know, it is just a light remold. Either way, um... That's basically it for the first wave, but let us apply this knowledge into the second wave, or the, the second wave for this year, but the uh, sixth wave total. This comes out in April. Uh, we are getting a second, no, not even a second. This is just another re-release of S1v1 Grey Rebirth Batman, uh, but we get a brand new um, tech Tech Batman, uh, Bat Tech Batman. We're getting a version 3 out of him. Um, all of this super, uh, we already sort of knew about it, but the Batgirl, uh, there's a lot of information about her. So basically, um, in the checklist, in the Spin Master, or in the, the checklist that we got for the Bat Tech line, uh, the Covert Tech is what we got initially, the one with Riddler. Um, but then this line, this one is going to be called the Ice Tech. It's going to be referred to as the Ice Tech. And this is basically what we matched each of those silhouettes to earlier. Uh, and now we can sort of fill in that, yes, uh, Batgirl and Nightwing are going to be those last two figures in there. Uh, these two images were from the eBay listing that was selling the prototypes. Um, also, these other uh, these other Batman and all that stuff, outside of S1v1, Grey, Rebirth, Batman, all these other guys are getting uh, repaints. So do not take the uh, these images next to them as gospel. I was just sort of figuring out what the sculpts were. Either way... That's not all. Um, oh, also, uh, we also got this prototype image way earlier that I talked about earlier, um, and I assume this is going to be from this wave. It is another Bat Tech figure, and it is going to be translucent just like that Nightwing. But uh, these aren't all the images we got because once Joe Acevedo uh, got his hands on this information as well, uh, he was able to find an image of the new Batgirl, which is kind of awesome. I mean... Uh, it's kind of not awesome, but it's it's really great that he decided to share that with us. Uh, so once again, this comes from Joe Acevedo. Uh, as with 
um, you know, a lot of really good images. So head on over to his site. That'll be linked in the description down below as well. He said he will be updating his site with a lot more images. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind when you're trying to look for these. It's a really good checklist. Uh, but, you know, uh, elephant in the room. This looks like a bat tech sort of bat girl. I was really hoping that she would be like a clean figure. Uh, but she still has the bat tech wire detail going throughout her, her, uh, you know, the, the sculpt. Um, and I, you know, uh, going into this, uh, we will learn that they, for the four inch, uh, basic $8 figures, they're not going to be listing the, uh, Target exclusives or the Walmart exclusives. So definitely keep that in mind because we could potentially get a regular Batgirl as a Target or Walmart exclusive um, during this year. Unfortunately, this is just going to be the mainline Batgirl. Either way, I don't know how this is going to shake out, but I'm I'm sort of excited. This is a really nice sculpt, and I really like the paint on this figure, so I, I can't wait. Uh, I'm going to get this one anyway. Um, let's move on to Wave 7, where we get pretty much the most shakeup ever. Not only is Batman S1V1 out, we have a brand new repaint of him, Batman S1V11, um, and then we have a Batman S5V1 tech, so this is going to be a fifth mold of Batman. If you, uh, if you don't have enough Batmans, then here you go, we've got a brand new one. Um, we've also gotten a Robin S4 Lite, so probably a light remold of Robin. Hopefully it's just into Tim Drake. I really want it to be molded into Tim Drake, but I don't always get my way. So hopefully that's technically another character, but it might just be Damien again. Hey, that's not... Uh, speaking of other characters, though, we have S1v1s for Batwing, Harley Quinn, and Deathstroke. Uh, so basically, these guys showed up in the 2-inch line, um, and this is probably the designs that they're gonna be going for um you know once uh once this hits retail i cannot cannot wait um and also this throws a wrench in my uh speculation video that i was gonna do uh if you saw on my channel last week i did a uh a speculative where i thought hey it would be neat to go through the two inch line and try to figure out what we're gonna be getting next i i got i got batwing so that's good um, and, you know, Harley Quinn and Deathstroke were gonna be on my list, so I do have to go back and redo that video, uh, so I'm gonna, you know, I'll, I'll update you, it's not gonna happen this week then, you're just gonna have to deal with that, I'm sorry. Anyway, um, that's it for Wave 7, uh, there was a few other, you know, your standard Batman and Robin, uh, repaints as well, but hey, let's move on into Wave 8, uh, this one comes out, uh, Oh no, October, November. This one comes out in November. That last one we looked at, that one came out in August. This one comes out in November. Um, so basically, we're getting S1v11 again. So whatever uh, Rebirth Batman uh, that he got repainted into, that is going to be showing up once again. Uh, the brand new Batman mold, that's going to show up again with a new repaint. Uh, the light remold for Robin is going to show up again. Uh, so he's a V3. This is King Shark. S2 V4, so Sculpt 2 version 4. Uh, and now I've seen a lot of confusion about this. Also, I don't know how to rotate this image sideways, so once again, just gonna have to deal with this. Um, but basically what that means is, uh, this is S2. I assume that this one is S2, the Hammerhead version, because we have never gotten a re-release or a V2, V3, V4 of the standard shark head, so it is probably going to be the hammerhead version. Also, I have seen floating around that, um, you know, the, the various variants of the King Shark figure um, are the uh, the hammerhead uh, of the hammerhead version, the um, the standard Target exclusive one. Then you had the Wet Hands version from the latest Bat Te uh, Batman wave. Uh, before Bat Tech, and then this one, the Black Pants and Blue Hands uh, and Wet Hands one. Um, so I do believe these are these are the three different versions of 
the Hammerhead uh, King Shark, and then on top of that, we're going to get a fourth one. Hope that wasn't confusing for you, but I just wanted to sort of help that discussion along because I saw people getting tripped up and thinking that the um, the Mega Gear one, the one, the regular head one, was supposed to be a V, a, a version of that, but that is a, uh, a sculpt distinction, so that one is technically S1. Uh, anyway, um, we're getting another Nightwing, because, alright, sure, I, I'm fine with that, I love Nightwing, I'll take it. Uh, and then Catwoman is getting a re-release. I don't know what she'll be repainted into or what she'll re be repainted as, but I'm excited to see. Um, and then Batman and Robin, because we always get them. Now, do keep in mind that anytime they, uh, all of these versions, all of these variants, um, the, they could be repainted into different characters, just like how... Batman was repainted into Thomas Wayne, but is still considered a Batman S1. Um, same with, hey, uh, uh, Reverse Flash. He's just been released as The Flash because I guess they're they're too scared to release more villains. So maybe that's the mentality behind that. Either way, um, hopefully some of these repaints will get, you know, will technically become different people. I don't know. We have no idea. But hey, that is it for Wave 8 and all that stuff. Let's touch upon Batman 4-inch Deluxe. And now this is where things get a little more confusing because this is the listing. Wave 4 in uh, on January 1st, Batman S4 V5 and Wave 5 um, in August, Batman S5 V4. So what the heck is, is this? What is... Batman 4-inch Tech Deluxe. Uh, what does that refer to? Well, um, it, you could assume that it is the Mega Gear price point because these are listed as, you know, deluxe vehicle figures, right? So that would sort of track. That would make a lot of sense. But we also know that this is considered a deluxe figure uh, on target. The listing specifically points out that this one is called the um, the Deluxe 4-inch Batman figure Mega Gear Solid Pack, right? But we saw earlier, oops, that's not right. We saw earlier that this says Batman S4 V5. So this is supposed to be the Bat Tech Sculpt with a fifth variant paint job. But this is the S1. This is the first sculpt. This is the Rebirth Batman. So that doesn't track. This doesn't make any sense. Uh, this could have been changed, though, because later on we will see another Batman S4 V5. So maybe that variant was moved to a different pack, and then we just got this variant, this brand new variant of the uh, S1 Batman. I have no idea. It's all a little bit more up in the air on this one, so definitely if you have any thoughts on this, let me know. Because uh, once again, these are the same price point as the Mega Gears. So all of this is supposed to synergize together, I guess? Um, so yeah, anyway, that's it for that. Outside of that, once again, we have a we have a, another one coming out in August. Hopefully it's a better Batmac. Uh, hopefully it's a Justice Buster. Uh, because we did actually get to see a Justice Buster in the 2-inch line uh, teased. They teased that at Toy Fair, and I don't think that ever made it out uh, as a 2-inch figure. Um, but maybe it has. I have no idea. But Justice Buster. I want it. Anyway, next up, let's take a look at the Tech Vehicles with 4-inch figures. Now, like I said earlier, uh, this uh, Bane and Batman... Um, this is a Walmart exclusive. Now I said, hey, uh, this list did not show a Walmart exclusive, but, um, well, I meant basically for the basic 4-inch action figures, like the $8 assortment, they did, however, list this one. Um, there it is. Uh, the Batman S4 V6 and Bane S1 V1 Bat Tank Cycle. So that basically refers to this one, the one that we got uh, as a Walmart exclusive. So do keep that in mind that um, we do get exclusives 
here in these sections, but we do not get any later uh, earlier in the four inch section because here we also get to see Batman S4 V5 and Mr. Freeze S1 V2 with Batwing. So a few things to note here, Batman S4 V5. That was the listing I got hung up on in the uh, deluxe class set, in the deluxe class, the one that was supposed to come out recently. Um, so maybe they moved that variant to this pack. Also, Mr. Uh, uh, Batwing, that is probably just the Batwing vehicle because the Batwing character probably would have had an S1 next to it. And also this is called the, um, the, the Bat Tech figure, or Batman 4-inch figures with vehicles, right? So, uh, also, Mr. Freeze, S1, V2. Sculpt 1, version 2, or variant 2, whichever you'd like to call it. Um, has not showed up. Uh, S1, or V1, uh, version 1 has not showed up in any of the other listings. So that lends credence to them not showing off the basic figure uh, uh, exclusives. Those are not there. Uh, and like I said, oh, no, wait, I was supposed to have an image of Mr. Freeze there, but obviously, uh, that one is a Target exclusive. We already know that one's coming. That one is S1v1, uh, and S2v2 is going to be coming in this multi-pack. Anyway, let's move on into the Tech Batmobile, where we get a little more boring, because, uh, this is Wave 2, Batmobile, S1v1, Batmobile, S1v1. Uh, so basically that means we're getting, uh, we already got this Bat Tech Batmobile, and then just a re-release of the initial Batmobile. So, that kind of sucks, and that's coming in August. But you know what? Less money that I have to spend, so that's fine by me. Hey, let's take a look at this very last one, which is very interesting, the Tech Playset, and this one comes out in August. This is all we know about it. They do not list any sort of figure variant that goes with it. So I am curious to see what it's going to be. Either way, it, it better not, I swear to you, it better not be this again. I do not want this again. I like it. I own it. I have it. I just don't want a second one. It better not be a repaint. At, at least a remold. Just at least remold this thing. Um... That is my hope, that is my plea to Spin Master, and hey, that is about all that I have for you. It was quite a list. If that was any sort of confusing, um, I will have a link to the list and then, you know, a Twitter breakdown that I did. If you want to see the text of everything and me just sort of like trying to figure this out. Uh, and then you can sort it out for yourself if you don't think my uh, analysis was complete enough. Anyways, that's about it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this episode, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to hear more from me each week. Um, and also, uh, I, I did say last week that I was going to do a speculative video, but uh, like I said in this episode, uh, some of the things are actually happening. Some of the things that were in my speculative video, like the Harley Quinn and Deathstroke, those actually happened. So I do have to make some changes to my own top 10 list um, because Harley Quinn, spoilers, was going to be my top 10 and Deathstroke was pretty far up there too. Uh, either way, um, I am excited to see what's going on with this line. Tell me in the comments down below what you're most excited about. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Keep it. Oh no, where's my device? Ah, I can't click the thing. Oh, there it is. Keep it. There we go. I feel, I feel more complete now. I feel better about myself. Uh, the world does not feel complete without uh, that button. So.